When you want to manifest something that you want into your physical reality, you have to make sure that your emotions bring or attract that thing to you. And you have to make sure that your thoughts and your beliefs are attracting that thing to you. And you have to make sure that your soul is becoming who you need to be in order to attract that thing to you. And the very last step is you do stuff that makes it attract, you know, that attracts it. So last month in our Sunday service, we worked on your emotions. Today, we're going to work on your beliefs. Okay, so let's begin. Step one, write down something that you want to manifest or create. I know a lot of you have done this already, but the new people, go ahead and write down something you want to manifest or create. Okay, so last month, y'all did step two, which is if you got the thing that you want, how would it make you feel on emotional level? Now, we're going to skip this step because we did this last month. But if you want to go back and review that step, then you can go ahead and watch our church's podcast on Spotify. It's called The Dream of Your Soul. It's the very first episode. It's called True Life Purpose Part One. So if you want to take a screenshot of this QR code or scan it. So if you missed last month, you can go back and do that. Okay, so today we're already on step three which is discovering what getting what you want makes you believe that you're worth. Okay. So I'm going to show you the step. You're not going to do it yet. I have to explain it first. So let me show you the step first. Here's the step. What more do you need in order to believe that you're worth getting what you want? So what do you need? in order to believe that you deserve to get what you want? Like, do you need a stellar business plan? Do you need a a co-founder? Do you need uh, to lose 20 pounds before you can meet Mr. Right? Like, what, what do you need to make you think that you believe it, that you deserve this thing? You know, what more do you need to think that you, I deserve this? You know, if I, if I just had a car, I know that I could, you know, I deserve to to get that job or something, you know, like if I just had a patent lawyer, you know, that one thing that you need and you know that you, if you had that, you totally deserve to get what you want. Okay. So as you're thinking about this, I'm going to give you a couple examples first. So Michelle wants peace in her family. Now, if this is what Michelle looks like every day when she confronts her family at the breakfast table, it's going to be hard for them to feel peaceful around her. So maybe Michelle needs a hair appointment so she can feel peaceful before she expects her family to feel peaceful. But I mean, what do you need, you know, to deserve this thing that you want? And if you're asking, well, why can't the universe just throw it in my lap? Why do you have to feel like you deserve it first? Because when you believe that you deserve something, you attract it to you. When you don't believe that you deserve it, you start chasing it or trying to force it to happen. And then you're on that path of always chasing after what you want or always trying to force it to happen. Instead of being on the path of deserving more, attracting more, deserving more, attracting more. Does this make sense to you? Right now in your journal, you're going to write this. What more do I need to deserve or be worthy of getting what I want? And go ahead and give you some music so you can brainstorm. What more do you want to get that mental health center? What more, what more do I need? Do my launch my startup? What more do I need to get off my butt and start doing speaking gigs? Now, what you wrote down, or what you believe, your abundance belief, what it's what makes you believe that you deserve to have what you want, and it aligns you on a mental level with manifesting it. So now you're going to write in your journal: If I'm willing to have. I'm willing to have an abundance of people see the value in what I do. If I'm willing to have two contacts, if I'm willing to have the time to reach out to folks, if I'm willing to have a business plan, then I believe I deserve 
to open my mental health center. I believe I deserve to have a thriving coaching practice. I believe I deserve to have a film deal. A note on the worthiness aspect. So I'm not saying don't chase or don't force something to happen. I'm saying if you do that from a place of unworthiness, it will push it away from you. If you chase something or force it to happen from a place of worthiness, you'll actually get it. What's the difference? The difference is willingness to deserve it. If you're willing to deserve something, you can go ahead and chase and force it. It'll happen. But if you're not willing to deserve it and you chase and force it, it'll push it away from you. So you don't actually have to go out and get a business plan. You, if you're willing to do the business plan, the universe will attract you somebody who can write it for you. Does this make sense? You just have to be willing to because that opens the door for the universe to give you the rest. If, if Thomas is willing to have 500 people and he only gets five, the universe will give him the 455 extras. But it's the willingness that puts you in a co-creative relationship with the universe. So you don't have to actually achieve these things. You just have to be willing to, and the universe will meet you part way. Okay, we're going to go to this next step. So this next step is, what are you doing that prevents you from deserving what you want? And then instead of that, you know, like what, what, what will cause you to deserve it? So in your journal, you're going to write instead of dot, 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 I will dot, dot, dot. And so you're going to reflect a little bit on what you're doing that's causing you to deserve something or to be desperate and not deserve it. Like, what's your pattern there?